All right, so we're back for the interview portion. I'm going to try to get these plants, these beautiful plants behind us and us as best as possible. So right now I wanted to ask Andre a few questions, some personal questions about, you know, just his, his journey to here. So you said you guys, you came from Texas. Yeah. Yeah, well, so aren't the laws really strict in Texas? Laws are really strict, um, and they are decriminalizing it, but um, I got tired of giving Texas my time, as I gave Texas almost 15 years of my life. Um, behind this plant that I know is saving lives. Um, so I, I, Oxidam, really feeling my lap after uh, my loss to Annie and my mom ended up having a stroke. Um, Oxidam kind of feeling my lap and uh, he got me on the journey, you know, and a lot of, a lot of individuals that's following me, y'all see him. That's what's up. You know, um, right on. Yeah, I, my mom also passed, a, she passed away and she could actually use cannabis a lot and I think it would have helped her with her pain. So. After she passed away, it, it really came into my mind that, you know, I need to learn more about this and not just use it for recreation, you know. And so that's when I made up my mind to come to Oaksterdam. And uh, like I said, I got an internship. And I completed mine. I had a blast. It was during the grand opening at the other building that they had. Woo! That was a beautiful evening, let me tell you. So how was your experience as an intern? It's, it's, it's really, I mean, I can't even find the words to explain it, y'all. I mean, you know, um, it's just all the knowledge that I'm constantly getting. I was constantly getting all the training I was constantly getting. Um, because before coming here, I had no knowledge whatsoever. You know, I'm from Texas. It's illegal. I had no knowledge. Um, but coming through Oaksterdam, you know, just attending the course and then with the internship on top of that, you know, I'm confident in my growth. Y'all seeing I'm flexing on the, on the ground, you know what I'm saying, with my skills. Y'all got to follow him on the ground. What's your Instagram? Um, I'm Gemma Vision TV, J-I-M-M-A-V-I-S-I-O-N TV. You're going to have to go follow this man. Follow me. I'm telling you. I keep it real. Y'all already know it. That's what's up. So you say you're working here now. What, what's your position? So um, I'm blessed to be in this unique but blessed position that I'm in. Um, I am the front desk through the service representative. Um, so when you call, you go see me. When you walk in, you go see me. I am the face of the place. You know what I'm saying? You need anything? I let me. If I can't help you, I got somebody that can help you. But you will get help. That's what's up. He's bringing that southern charm to the Bay Area, which is what we need. Some of y'all ain't too charming, but that's okay. <laughs> this brother done brought some of it. So let me see. What else I want to ask you? What would you like to say to these people? Because like I say, I'm starting a website. The website, red420.com doing reviews, bringing you the dopest reviews on the dopest stuff. And that's why I'm here at Oaksterdam University with this dope individual talking to y'all about what's going on here. So what would you like them to know? Well, 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 well since you brought that fact up, um, you know, um, this this industry, you know, um, is, is unique and it's a, a growing uh, industry, mm -hmm. you know, and so individuals really need to get the knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Um, cause I'm from an area where we are unaware of a lot of stuff, you know, and a lot of states are like that because they're so illegal. So it's a lot of things that they don't know, that a lot of things that you need to learn. Right. So my advice would be to individuals, come get knowledge, come get education. Um, not only coming through here are you just learning things, but at the same time you're turning into several things. Whether you know it, when you came through um, after completion, you have become a consultant. You're kind of like a doctor now, you know what I'm saying? Um, you are a healist, um, you know, and also, you know what I'm saying, now you're a manufacturer. Um, and so if you just put to place everything that we teach you, um, you are now a, a business of your own. Um, you know, just your integrity has to stay at the right level and do it for the right things, you know what I'm saying? Not just the money, because the money to go be there, but it's about getting this education and this medicine to individuals that really need to get it. That's what I'm here for. That's what's up. So, brother, now that you're working for him, what do you plan on doing with cannabis in the future? Do you plan on opening your own business, or what are you going to do? With so, so truthfully, um, it's up for grabs because... Uh, you know, I thought I was just coming out of here and let her grow and go right. back home, you right. know. Mm -hmm. But he has me on a different path. Um, and so hopefully if everything can go right, my main objective would be when Texas legalized, I take it back to Texas, take Oaksterdam back to Texas to teach individuals, educate individuals, you know. Because like I say, the money go be there, you know. Right. But it's about bringing education and awareness about this plant that's saving lives on a day-to-day -day basis. What plant? This plant, right right in between us back there. There's some of these in the back that are like budding up. We got different stages right we, here. We, we, we. We looking kind of low because yesterday was the last day of class and our students got their hands on lovely yeah. ladies. Ooh, but that uh, smells beautiful. Smell beautiful, look beautiful. Oh, Ooh, my.